Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. Here's a puzzle that's going viral right now. I bought a cow for $800. I sold it for $1,000. I bought it again for $1,100. I sold it again for $1,300. How much did I earn? There's a lot of discussion about what the correct answer should be. In fact, when I searched for this question in Google, the top page actually gave me the wrong answer. So I thought it was extremely important to present this topic in a video to explain the correct answer. Furthermore, I wanted to highlight how this type of problem is actually useful in real life. Instead of using a cow, let's imagine this is in the context of one share of Tesla stock. Imagine you buy one share at 800, you sell it for 1,000. Later, you buy it again for 1,100, and you sell it again for 1300. How much did you earn? This is a practical question and it's extremely important for your finances and for reporting your taxes correctly. So what's the correct answer? Let's work it out carefully. So first you bought one share for 800 and sold it for 1000. So this will be a profit of $200. Then you bought it again for 1100 and sold it again for 1300. This is another profit of $200. So in total, you earned $400. And this is without a doubt, the correct answer. So where are people getting confused? One spot, the most common error, is people are thinking about this step right here. When you sold it for 1000 and bought it again for 1100, wouldn't that be a loss of $100, meaning your total would be an earnings of only $300? So let's go over why this is wrong. So let's say you sold for $1,000, that'll be plus $1,000, and you bought it again for $1,100, that'll be minus $1,100. So this is what happens if you short sell a stock and it goes up, you would actually lose $100. So what do we do with the remaining steps? We've already counted this transaction. So now we need to consider the other two transactions that you bought a share for 800, that'll be minus 800, and you sold it again for 1300, that'll be plus 1300. So here we have a gain of 500. So 500 minus 100 will be an earnings of $400. So even if we go in this procedure, you would earn $400. Now for fun, I did a poll on my community page. 18,000 people voted and I was very pleasantly surprised that about 85% gave the correct answer of $400. But that also means 15% gave incorrect answers. So there is some work to be done so that everyone gets the correct answer of $400. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.